For this dish, I'm going to need red onion, garlic and ginger, cayenne pepper, sage, oregano, parsley, fresh cherry tomatoes, portobello mushrooms, and spelt flour. You're also going to need some grapeseed oil, some sea salt. Cayenne pepper and sea salt. Onion powder and garlic powder. Oregano, sage and parsley. Mix thoroughly. And then what you want to do in the meantime is heat up some oil on the hob. So heat up about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil ready to start cooking. Okay, that's what we want right there. Nicely mixed. Another one of our very important ingredients, how we're going to make our creamy mushroom sauce is with soaked walnuts and Brazil nuts. Soaked in water for about six to 12 hours. And then I'm going to blend these to help make the creamy mushroom sauce. Add about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil. This pan's been on here for a little while, so it's pretty warm. And then what you want to do is throw your mushrooms in. Nicely coated in our seasoning. Nice high heat. So I want to brown these and get most of the moisture out of them. Nice and brown with the moisture out. So nice, nice high, medium to high heat actually, medium to high. If you're doing it for the first time, just put it on medium heat and take it nice and slow. I can, I've got the flavors coming through, the smells coming through already from the oregano and the sage mainly. Mushrooms really season up really well. They really take up the flavors that you season them with. I can even smell a little bit of the cayenne pepper in the air um, tickling the back of my throat. The garlic, the garlic flavor comes from the ginger and onion powder mix. That's what gives you your garlic flavor. So if you're making any alkaline dishes, you can't have garlic. Or if you're intending on being alkaline, there's no garlic. So to get your garlic flavor, you need garlic, um, not garlic, sorry, onion powder and ginger to give you that garlic flavor. So those two mixed um, equal parts will give you the, the garlic flavor. I think it's even better than garlic to be fair. I've just blended up the um, walnut and, Bra and Brazil nut. I'm gonna keep blending it to give us that, that creamy mushroom sauce that we want.
they taste better when they're really browned. Um, so it's, it's, it's a good idea to really brown these. Yeah, they really, they're getting really brown now. I like this, this looks awesome. And that gets them to really absorb the flavors as well. So when you bite into the mushroom, the, the, the flavor is just not on the outside. It's really uh, sort of seeped into the mushroom. So as you chew through the mushroom, you've got the flavor coming right through the flesh of it as well. It smells amazing. It smells absolutely ridiculous. So there's a running joke that all I eat is mushrooms. And it is true to a certain extent. But then again, all people eat is chicken and beef. I eat different varieties of mushrooms. You're eating different varieties of flesh. Chicken, beef, lamb, pork, fish. What's the difference? I'm eating portobello mushrooms. I'm eating um, uh, British normal mushrooms, buttered mushrooms. I'm also eating the... Um, chicken of the forest. I'm also eating... Um, not I don't eat shiitake mushrooms. The one I'm thinking of is oyster mushrooms. Yes, I also eat oyster mushrooms. So it's just different varieties of mushrooms. It's not the same mushroom all the time. It's all different varieties of mushrooms that I'm, I'm using to cook. Just like you're using different types of meat to cook. So I don't understand where the running joke about you only eat mushroom comes from. You only eat flesh. Okay, I'm kind of happy with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the onion. A little bit more oil. And turn the heat down. Because I don't want to, I don't want to burn the mushrooms. I just want to saute the mushrooms. I want to soften them. I don't want to burn them. And as they soften, they're going to add that, that nice flavor to the onion, to the sort of mushrooms as well. So you're going to get that nice strong onion flavor coming through which is going to complement the uh, the garlic flavor that's coming from the ginger and onion powder yeah boy smells amazing absolutely amazing So, our blended creamy mushroom sauce, that's what it looks like. So that's gonna be going in there pretty, very shortly, actually. I'm just gonna wait for the mushrooms to soften, and then I'm gonna add the sauce to that, and yeah, that's gonna really, really finish it off. And I'm gonna add some more seasoning to that, so a bit more ginger and onion powder to give me that garlic flavor to come through the sauce. I might add a little bit more salt and cayenne pepper for that little um, bit of heat. I do like my uh, my heat. That is awesome. Look at that. Absolutely amazing. Turn the heat up a little bit more. It's a little bit too low. Ooh, smells amazing. Right, I need to heat up some water for the pasta and I'm gonna put the pasta on as well. And this is what another five to ten minutes and it is going to be ready so I might as well get my pasta ready as well so I'm only cooking for one person so I'm not gonna make a lot of pasta and the pasta that I've gone for is organic spelt pasta um, and this is vegan it's got no egg or anything like that amazing
Okay, I'm happy with this. I'm gonna add the sauce. I'm gonna turn the heat right up so I can add the sauce in. I'm gonna add it gradually because I don't wanna look at that. Looks creamy, looks amazing. Oh yeah. Look at that, that's amazing. Turn the heat down again. So turn it right up. Add some more sauce. My water's boiled. Let's turn the heat on for the mushrooms. Pasta. A little pot of pasta. Pasta pot. So this you can have with pasta. You can have it with um, wild rice. Actually. I might have it with both. So I'm going to have a bit of pasta and a bit of wild rice. Oh yes, now we're talking. I'm going to heat up some wild rice to go with this. Turn the heat right down. And leftover seasoning. looking very creamy so the thing about using portobello mushrooms is they've got the um, they've got the gills which are quite black and that's why it's gone really dark when you use the other mushrooms they don't have the gills on there so they won't literally change the color of the of the sauce so it will stay um, quite creamy looking but because I've used portobello mushrooms for this for this recipe it's gone a bit darker but the other mushrooms they don't really change the color this much um, add a bit more salt and i wanted a bit more cayenne pepper for some heat ginger powder Onion powder, can of pepper. Turn the heat down for my pasta. Can of pepper. It's no joke. This is amazing. It smells amazing. Onion powder. I want that garlic flavor to come through now. So that's why I'm adding these ingredients to the sauce itself because I want the sauce to have. Kind of reminds me of beef stroganoff actually vegan version of beef stroganoff Put up some uh, some wild rice made some wild rice the other day I think my dish is done. Turn the heat off. Pasta. 
ました。Mushroom stroganoff. Oh yeah, doesn't look great. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> but it tastes freaking awesome. Believe me. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh my God, that is awesome. It tastes freaking amazing. 